Windows Movie Maker, adding audio and finishing your movie. Adding audio to your movie creates its soundtrack. Choose to import audio, narrate using the narrate timeline option in Windows Movie Maker, create your own music, or select a combination of all three. Audio resources are available in Angel. Examples include YouTube Audio Swap, CC Mixter, and Aviary. If for any reason you are unsure about your audio selection, err on the side of caution and don't use the file. After locating desired audio, import it into your movie timeline. From the task pane, select audio or music, highlight your items, and import. After the import, you will see the display in the collections task pane. Drag your selections to the timeline below. If you are using more than one sound element, be sure to place it exactly where you want it within the movie. Once the audio is in the timeline, it's important to be able to adjust the length to match where you need it to be in your movie. My introductory item is much longer than the introductory slide. I'm going to click on it and drag it to meet the length of the movie. The middle part is for the middle of my movie and the credits for the end. Make sure as you're working with your sound that your movie begins and ends and the sound matches. Once everything works, save your project, click on the first slide, and preview. If you're satisfied, move on to the next part. If not, take some time and edit your audio to meet your specifications. In this case, I'd like the credit rolling to be a little farther in, and I want to use the option of fading out for this particular item. I'm going back to the first slide, and we'll preview again. When you're finished, it's time to publish your movie and have it ready to upload to YouTube. From the task pane, publish to this computer. The publishing wizard will show you how to work through this process. File name, publish to, next. Choose the settings for your movie. Windows Movie Maker will accept QuickTime, .mov, .wmv, AVI, or MPEG files. It's a good idea to choose best quality for playback on my computer. This will present it in a WM file and select Publish. The length of time this takes will depend on the length of your movie and the size of your video and your computer.
my movie has been published, I have the option to play the movie when I click finish so I can view what's been done. Finish. You're now ready to upload your movie to YouTube.